back ladies and gentlemen to the next episode of the Rider Riches series we're heading out right now in the labs to see if we can find the three BTG so let's see if we can find this dang thing oh this is not the spawn I wanted I can tell you that right now well actually no maybe this is an okay spawn actually how do I think about it this actually may be okay but yeah we're heading out to get the three PTG hopefully from Santa's office and then we have to actually go to Santa's office afterwards and find a flash drive so let's do this ladies and gentlemen we're on the last leg to try to get ourselves Capitainer are you ready okay I think we're on the right floor actually for his office I've actually just I haven't, I haven't spawned there in forever so that threw me off for a minute I was like oh no I think it's in the all the way on the other side of the map but it actually may not be I need to go I need to get I need to go what, one more level yeah I think I need one more level up yeah it's right here close behind us Let's take a look. Please be in here. There it is. There it is. I need to loot up. Diary. Grab this. Where's all the loot? Is this all? That was really it? Just those two? That's fine. We're gonna go down the bottom floor then. What's this? It's not what I was actually expecting to happen. I was expecting us to have way, way more things inside there. That's kind of unfortunate that that's all there is. At least I have to be found in raid, so I have to. I have to chill for a little bit. I heard a door close. I don't know. I don't know which door. I feel like it was the boiler room right here. But it could have been a door above us too. It, it definitely could have so I'm gonna explain this right now it's just so it's early on expectations for this for these well at least this raid and, and next raid I am basically focusing on just getting the items that we need and getting the heck out the next part if I survive this right now is literally to just grab a flash drive and then we have to get out we don't I don't, I don't believe it has to be a survive the raid I think it's just get out basically with the item so that's what we'll be doing and then we can pretty much do anything we want at that point literally anything as it will be done which right now the Halloween events going on so I kind of want to keep going for that Halloween event and it's on every single map except for labs and factory so we can just have a bunch of fun just keep an eye out Elevators on. I think there is somebody inside that room. Right here.
but I don't want to risk losing the three BTG because I don't know if it's a. It's, I mean, it's definitely not a one hundred percent drop rate, so that would be very bad to lose this thing. So I'm going to be kind of chilling for the first two raids. We're going to be ratting. See, we're going to rat to Chad. We're going to rat to Chad. That makes sense. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing it, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna do it proudly. <laughs> That's what's the way I'm looking at it. It's okay. We only have to wait like literally minute twenty five. But yeah, we're very very close to hitting our goal. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to lose all that progress we made with the labs cards, and also the other the AH uh, whatever it is. The actually we have it on us right now. The the AH F one M. Because we also found that one while we were in raid two. So losing that and losing all the progress on the labs cards, it would have felt really, really bad. So I figured we gotta finish this quest. We started it, we gotta do it. Plus I'm sure at some point we're gonna kill Santa anyway, so it'll be fun either way. Just watching out for that door, man. Come through that door, you're dead. You're dead, you hear? I don't think you hear me. You probably can't hear me. I'm pretty quiet right now. I think we're looking pretty good. Right now we're sitting about 12.8 million rubles. I sold some of the stuff so we could actually, like, the like keys that we got from last episode. So we're looking pretty decent. We actually lost like 3.2 million. Whoops. <laughs> but it's okay. We lost a decent amount of money during the event, but it was actually fun. And it was pumpkins. Not not the heads, or not the ones that you, the helmets, but the other ones are like treats. So it gives you like a bunch of food. I'll show you one in the uh, the lobby in a second once we get back. But that was pretty cool. So if we see any of those, we can loot them. And we get some nice items from it. Actually, you get like sugar, uh, you get chocolate, you get a whole bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. We'll head back to... We'll head back to the, uh, the stash real quick. Turn in two quests and we'll work on the final. All right, let's drop off all this stuff here. We'll go over to Crap War first. Crap War, test drive, completed. Thank you. I'll take all that stuff in a minute. Therapist, I would like to turn this into you now. Thank you. Very nice. So we get a black key card and we also get a med case for that. That's actually a really good reward. I don't have any of this stuff for now, so I can't do that one. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay. Grab all this. Therapist. I would like to take all your stuff too. Therapist, 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 there you are. Wait, what? Oh, did I not? I didn't turn it in. <laughs> Complete. There we go. That'd make it a little bit easier if I did that. Cool. Got that one turned in. We'll collect, collect all of our rewards, including the black key card. That's exciting. Very, very exciting. I've never had one before. That's pretty cool. Very nice. I like our sales for 1.5 million. Let's sell for actually 3.8. That's actually still not that bad. It's not that bad at all. Now, I forget who actually has the next quest. Let's take a look. There it is. Right here. Terror Group Employee. So we need to find the workstation, which we know where that is, and we need to obtain information about Santar's work. This is going to be very easy-ish. Actually, it should be relatively the exact same thing what we literally just did, except we don't have to wait the seven minutes. So we're going to go back in. We're going to go to Santar's office. We're going to grab the information from the flash drive, and we're getting the heck out. We're going straight out from that point. And then we'll be done. And then we can do everything else we've always dreamed of doing for Tarkov. So come here, key cards. You're coming with me. You're going in the docks case. You're going there. And we're going to labs. Spawn horde again. All I gotta really worry about is the spawn that's you know down below. Check for any Ledex. No Ledex. Just a bunch of random stuff on the desks. No chocolate. Alright, let's go. I gotta get up one more floor. Actually, if I stay up here. Say if I technically just stay up here, this is fine. Uh, 
there's way more stuff in here than last time. Not saying it's good, just there's more stuff. Mule. P22. I want to at least secure the mule. Where's your laptop? I need this. Alright. Well, that's all she wrote. We're out of here. That's literally all I needed. Doors closed. Gonna go to the hole in the wall and get the heck out. It's fine. The mule and stuff I'm gonna keep anyway. So I'm not gonna worry about selling the stuff. Mule is just very, very good to use now. Other than, you know, it killing you while you're using it. <laughs> That's my favorite part about it. It works, but you know, you may hurt yourself a little bit. Open this. And get the heck out of here. So we can finally turn in the quests and move on to glory. I'm excited. I'm actually excited. I don't know why I'm so excited. It's just a container, but I'm excited to have it. <laughs> I can have more room. I can actually use a serve 12 and actually use other things too. What an exciting day. Well, this is going to determine whether or not uh, I'm, I'm correct on saying that we're completely done or if I'm in, you know, completely incorrect about this. We'll, we'll see. Uh, terror group card or terror group employee, excuse me, completed. Does this mean I may have to restart the game real quick? Do this a couple times, go like this, go like this, go yep, like that, clickety clack, clack, clack. Because I don't think any of these other ones are required. As far as I'm aware, I've done my duty and completed everything required. Now, I'm going to quickly, we could probably do this very easily. If I go like here, I don't know, we'll go like customs real quick. I'll do this all on camera so we don't lose anything. Let's go practice mode. If I go practice mode, it loads in like two seconds. It won't take long at all. And it doesn't count against us, obviously. Actually, if I cancel it now, let's see if it works. I'm hoping, cross your fingers that something didn't break. But I'm pretty sure that it still has that weird bug like you have to either exit the game or go into a raid and come back out and then it will actually show the quest. I wish they would fix that. It's really weird. But, you know, you have to pretty much go with it. Come on, we have suspense going on right now. Did we actually get to the point of Kappa? I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. Show locked. Interesting. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna restart the game real quick. Theoretically speaking, we're pretty much done with Kappa. Except for one quest that I completely overshadowed and did not realize that it was a Kappa, Kappa like quest related, which was Stray Dogs. So we need to locate and eliminate Knight, Big Pipe, and Bird Eye. But we all know how random RNG it is to try to locate those guys. So this could take a while yeah <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to try to find them but oh gosh yeah this is gonna take a while this is literally the last quest now I literally went through every single quest because originally I was using the capitalist like I forget the website there's like a, a website that shows you every single quest that's required and this one was not on the list but I think this recently got added within like the I don't even know how long ago you guys could probably tell me but yeah I just overlooked this one so much and it's gonna be probably the biggest pain in the butt but it is what it is so we gotta do it we gotta do it because nothing else really matters at this point to me except for finishing up stray dogs and kill them now we don't have to technically speaking live we just gotta kill them now it shouldn't be that difficult to, to, to do that I think I think we can easily get all three kills it's just gonna take a little bit of time um as far as what we're bringing, I guess we'll just bring out what we're using right now. 
maybe associated to a black ULAC, just my head's not, you know, shiny, tan. We'll see. I believe right now the Goon Tracker says they're on Lighthouse. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> maybe I'll swap out, you know, actually what I'll probably end up doing is get, is buy a rig real quick. Let's do that. Let's see what kind of rigs we can purchase real quick. Um, a good rig, a good rig. Is there even such a thing? This one requires one. I could buy this guy, but this, thing, this one's pretty heavy though. You know what? Screw it. No, I'm just gonna bring a backpack and just take off the armor. I was gonna like go to lighthouse because there's two places to like, they get the chalet over by the like the blue chalet is by close to the village, and then they could also be inside the actual water plant. That's the problem. If they're on you know customs, that's probably our best bet to actually kill them because they only spawn at the one location, which is the fortress. So I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna get some loot set up here, or not loot, but get some like gear set up. And figure out exactly what the heck we're gonna do because this is gonna take some planning and a lot of basically hunting them down but we can do this we can definitely do this let's get going uh apparently as i was right about the law like going to lighthouse they updated the map for the goons and they're on shoreline this was like literally three minutes ago so we're gonna try to find them granted it is still a 25 percent chance of them spawning so if they don't get them this time we pretty much have to keep trying Going. But luckily, we got a good spot for them. I mean, they're if they are here, they're right there. Did I put this on full auto? I did. Okay. Or at least I shouldn't have changed from full auto, I should say. <laughs> should have never changed. Where'd you just go? I just saw you. this map there's or at least I don't like this side of the map because there's so many bonds close to each other the worst part about this is that obviously we're doing this during a Halloween event so if anyone kills the boss we are gonna have fun I guess and if they don't kill the what do you call it um the, the ritual like if they don't stop the ritual Pretty sure the boss will like start going around to different areas and hunting you down basically. It should be so much fun. I wanna figure out where the heck this dude went though, because he was like on top of the ridge and then I lost him. He could have either stopped or he could have kept going. I don't see him though. Alright. I'm gonna guess he's more farther in front of us now. Goons, you better be here. I'm searching for the next 16 episodes. This will be a problem. I don't think it's going to take us that long to run into him, but you never know. I don't know if this map's easier to kill him on or if Customs is the easiest. I would say probably Customs is probably the easiest. Just because of the location, you can get kind of like stuck into a spot where they'll rush you. This one's a little up in the open. If you can get inside the building, I suppose that'd be a little bit easier. Please be here. Pretty sure if they were here, I'd be getting shot at right now. Yeah, I don't think the goons are here. I'm looking out and see if there's a player inside. 
Well, darn it. <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do, and I know this is going to be like the most boring way to film this, because I either there's two ways I'm going to have to do this. Either one, stream it, which I don't really have the time for at the moment until my vacation time. So that's kind of all the, all the option of things that we can do. Or two, I pretty much don't start my recording until I find them. Which is going to have to probably be your number one choice at the moment. I prefer not to do that because obviously I like to let you guys see everything from the beginning of the raid to this part of the raid. But I'll come up with a way so you guys kind of see like the whole raid once we actually get in. But we're going to have to do that sadly. Because with a 25% chance, I mean... Just because we run, you know, four raids doesn't mean we're going to have a 100% chance of running into them. And they can always move, too. Which is the oh-so-fun part. But we got to get out of this map before we do anything. Let's go. Actually, I don't have any keys or anything on me, so I'm just going to get the XP and basically skedaddle. What if doing this at night would be better? Let me do that actually. <laughs> yeah, I may actually do this at night. I like I run around faster. Let's go, let's go. I was saying keep an eye out for the boss. Uh, the uh, event boss. So if I do see him, I mean, we'll kill him. We'll at least get the reward for it. I don't know what exits is fully going to cut off, whether they're going to keep the lighthouse open or yeah, the other exits, but let me triple check this actually. Oh, actually this is the perfect time to go kill the the, the, the boys right now. I forgot Road of Customs is going to be open right now. That's my bad. I could have gone backwards. I completely forgot that every single exit is open during this event. So, with that being said, next time I come in, I can just exit through there. That's, uh, that's a big whoops. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Let's see. Let's not waste any more film time. I'm just going to run to the exit. And I'll see you guys in a second. We may have the goons. I heard some weird shooting over here. And a gun that I'm not used to hearing, so... Let's take a look. Yep, we got the goons. I'm gonna make sure I pop this now. did it oh we did it oh my gosh all right let's get loaded that last one got kind of tricky for a minute but they're done we got them oh, okay now i need to reload they'll be ready for players coming in i'm gonna try to do some looting though here come on i guess technically we could go backwards we don't have to go right into players considering the event. But the fact that we got all three, that's that's what's amazing. Oh, this one. Gosh, like I wish 
the, this, this AK has taken so much abuse. <laughs> I've used it so many times. Almost there, almost there. I've never actually found this up before. So it's pretty cool. Tracer rounds. Take this. I guess we could take the rig. Like this. Oh, it's too skinny. What if I do this? Oh, I should probably check the pockets first. Yeah, that's a smart idea. Assuming what you can find. So let's do that first. Who has a better chance of finding stuff, so that's why I'm like checking everything. I think the comms bag is the one that sells for a lot, right? Or maybe it's the other one. We'll figure it out in a second. Let's just keep looting. Take all this stuff. Take this as well. Put this here. Check you. Oh, he didn't have his hat or his face. What do you call it? He didn't have his um his cool looking one. You know, let's do this actually. Drop this. Put these over here. I guess we could, yeah we could put this on this. Oh, I can't do that actually. Is this M80s? Yeah, let's fucking drop it. Drop this, 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 this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, he didn't have his thing. That's kind of sad, dude. The rig is kind of cool, though. Don't really care that much for it. Not really. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not, I'm just gonna take this guy here. Now worry about the other one. Let's pop a mule. And let's get out. Quest completed, so that's the biggest thing. Go, 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 go. Um to give you perspective, that took me eleven raids. To find them because the first time they were on shoreline then like i spawned in and immediately it updated and switched over to lighthouse again and then like, 20 minutes ago it switched over to customs so we went over here and we found them it took like three raids on customs and we ended up getting them so that was pretty cool i guess it's just a chance right for his mask to actually spawn i, I kind of like the look of it. it looks pretty cool so i was hoping to get it as like a trophy but, at the same time, I'm sure we're going to run into the goons at some point again. Especially if we try to hunt them like we are. Let's get around the corner here. And then I think after this, because we should be getting the Kappa container, that should be in the word. Should. If we have it after this one. Then, yeah, we're just going to go back to the Halloween event, try to get some stuff. Oh, I got to show you guys the candy. I don't think I showed you the, like, the pumpkin yet. I got to make sure to do that. Come over here. Oh, yeah, I took the, the, the backpack because the backpack says for, like, 200,000, which is pretty cool. 
Not bad though. Not bad. I think theoretically speaking, that's my first time ever killing the goons. I've run into the goons many times, but I've never actually killed them. So hey, that's pretty cool. 18,000 XP for that. All three of them. None of them. Oh, I got one headshot. I was gonna say none of them got a headshot. Yeah, not bad. I will take that any day. We thank God that third one didn't immediately just blast me to death. So it's a win-win on that one. Okay, let's get all the stuff dropped off here. Drop it off. I should maybe I should pull everything out first. Boom, boom, boom. Make some okay money from all this, which is nice. I still gotta figure out what I want to do with this uh, med case. I may just end up selling it. I don't need three of them. Three of them is a little excessive, even for me. Drop this off. Drop this off. Okay. Ooh, pumpkin first. So, uh, it's probably gonna all. Uh, well, I guess I could probably make this so it doesn't show up there. Like that. Like that. Like that. That literally did nothing. I literally just did the exact same thing. <laughs> Oops. This is a three spot. Whatever, toss it in there for now. All right, so everything should show up here. So when we go here, we go to unpack. Hey, we get a bunch of treats. Look at that. We got some rat cola. So we got some drinks. Very nice. Kind of a little cool thing for the for the Halloween event. But let's come over here to Jaeger and say, uh, hey, Jaeger, uh, we're finished. We got this all taken care of. Oh, we get a sick case for this too. This is kind of nice. Ooh. Actually, Night Sweep may actually be part of Kappa. I just realized that. Oh, oh good. Grab our Jaeger thing. If it, if Night Sweep actually is, well, we'll just have to figure out some other stuff to do in between. Yay, we got a sick case. We got a lot of different items this, this uh, episode. We got the black car. We got the sick case. We got the... I don't know what kind of thumbnail I'm going to do. Because I got so many different things this episode. Fence? Am I missing something else? I feel like I'm missing out something else. Is Night Sweep going to be part of Kappa? It probably is. Nothing here is. I know this. I've looked through all these quests, and none of these are Kappa related. So it's got to be Night Sweep. So while I'm just talking to you guys, I'm going to quickly look this up quickly. Let me go. Oh, wrong thing. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but on my second monitor, and the, the other computer. Let's just hope it isn't. If it is, well, then we've got to wait a little bit. Because I'm pretty sure it's level 50 to get. No, it's not. Kappa's not required for that. What am I missing? Hmm. Maybe it's another thing of me having to come back after being in somewhere else. Maybe if we go to the hideout first. I don't know. This is just kind of weird. I thought I had all the quests done. But there's something eluding me. I'll have to go look through the quest list again. And then we go back out. We'll go to Trader. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna go into a raid real quick and I'll be right back. Well, my bummed out meter is starting to get really high up on the scale today because they've had a lot more quests to cap than I expected. Like, ones that have not been really been classified on the cap list. I guess people just kind of gave up on the whole, you know, hey, let's put a, this is what we're doing for Kappa and let everyone know. Because, uh, yeah, we have this thing called Crisis we have to do, which I didn't know was a thing. I'll show it to you in a second until we sell all the stuff because we're we're not we're not a cap yet. But we got a lot of stuff, you know, done to go towards it. So there is that. None of these are required, so we can just get rid of all these. We'll keep the black key card. So those. So that, so this, so this. Brag man. Yeah, 217,000. We'll just sell that to you right away. Get the money for that. Uh, we could hold on to the SP6. I think it's actually unlocked now for us for crafting. I don't think it's actually for purchasing, just for crafting. Toss that in there. So yeah, crisis. Crisis. I I should have held on to a few items up for, up for a while, but it's all medical stuff. So we need to collect uh, three defibrillators, which I can craft. I'll start crafting those now. We need to find three of the oscopes. We need to find two LEDXs, twenty piles of meds. 10 of the multivitamins. Yeah. So, this is going to take us a bit. It's not undo. It's not like not doable. It's definitely doable. 
We just have to craft a lot of stuff. Like I can make all the meds. I don't think I can actually, I don't think I can actually make the multivitamins. We can find those though. We'll just have to look for those. I am going to get this started though. Ah. You know, you try to work off a of list that are like, hey, this is what you need to do for Kappa. And then it's not actually the right list. It's like just you feel awkward because you think you're almost done, and then all of a sudden another quest pops up. So it's like, hey, you want to do this too? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. But we got the money, we got the means, we can make it happen. Let's see here, Whoop. do this, Whoop. and we need to get some fuel. So let's go talk to Jaeger. Come down here. So yeah, guess what? We're not done. The ride still continues. Get fuel there. Okay, we can go back to the hideout now. We put the fuel in. Good. And we'll get the med station up and running. Cool. Oh, five hours for the defibrillator. I think we actually looked at all the like things I did. So we got some pumpkins. It's all designed here. I like this. It's pretty cool. I think it says Happy Halloween on the other side. Spooky. It does. Oh, no. Happy Hunting. Sorry. Haunting. No. Happy Haunting. No. It does not say Happy Halloween. Happy Haunting. Okay. What about in here? Oh, they did do a little bit. Happy Haunting. Very cool. Well, in that case. We have to go start uh, collecting some stuff. What I think I'm also going to buy real quick, and we'll attempt to do this. Uh, what's it called? Ultra. Ultra medical key is only 100,000, so we will purchase that. That's going to become part of my arsenal of items that we need. Black key card I'm keeping, so it's staying there. How much is green right now? I bet you it's extremely expensive. Green. 35 million rubles. Well, that's a little expensive. Yeah. Well, we have access to stims now for the, through the black key card, so there is that. However, we are definitely uh, definitely in a weird, awkward position for uh, what I need to work towards. Is this regular PS ammo? Oh, I can sell that. Well, that being said, then, we still got like 20 minutes left in this episode, so I can't really like, just like end it. For no reason, we, we could start, you know, collecting these items, which is what we're probably gonna do, actually. So this quickly, we do have the uh, the M MK18 though, so at some point we can give that a try. Sick case is now ours, which is really really nice. That is gonna be a lot of keys, so a lot more space compared to this. Yeah, a lot more. Although. The docs case can hold things that the sick case can't, so it's kind of like a pick and choose type of thing. So, for right now, it says I need to start collecting stuff. I'm thinking, doo -doo -doo, I mean, we could go over to like labs, but I think I need to prepare more for, for labs before we actually do that. Because I know there's a lot of, lot of spawns for Ledexes. We could go over to Streets. Streets has Ledex spawns. And of course, Shoreline has Ledex spawns. Woods though, I feel like I want to go to woods and go check the USEC cam. We'll go check the USEC cam, see if we can get lucky there. And then of course, we'll also keep an eye out for the event as well. We might as well just do that for today. We'll come back for the next episode after, you know, while we're still looking obviously for the Ledex, we'll work on the event and come back next episode and focus on trying to get the other stuff. So let's head out and let's do this. I forgot that the FOV has a chance for Ledex as well. So we'll check this of course. We'll check all of them and see what we can find. Let's do this. Now, obviously, Shoreline probably is going to be our best bet on finding Ledexes going to, like, Resort. Because there's just so many different spawns that you can get. Especially ones that are locked and some that are not locked doors. So, many different ways. I'm not going to let this bother me, the fact that they had more ridiculous quests to cap up. We're going to do it anyway. We're going to we're gonna attempt it, at least. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but you know, we'll do our best. Let's search everything. Got this. We still got like another month and a half, so we got time. Grab 
ibuprofen. I pretty much check every single bag. No more. That will be our best bet in finding a Levex. I think this is rations. Yeah, I need rations. I need to check this one here. Obviously, got less enough for players because you know, people. People in trying to complete quests, they don't really mix. There's rations. Yeah. I know there's a couple tech ones. And then there's also, you know, the ones that we need. Can help you scabs? Ooh, someone just blew up. Ooh, someone dead. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, buddy. Rip. Here's the vitamin we need. This is just literally gonna be a very long, like, wow, someone else blew up. Oh, oh they're dead. I didn't realize people didn't know this map very well. They're blowing up that much. And these are rations. Yeah. Alright. So no Lennox. But we did get ourselves one of the multivitamins. Which is one of the ones that we can't make, so gotta do it. Basically, the plan is going to be is make the three defibrillators inside the stash, or sorry, sorry, the hideout. And then while we're doing that, we're also going to craft, um, or after we do that, we're going to do piles of meds. Or we're going to die from a player sitting in a bush, because, you know, that's how that goes. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a thing. I can definitely tell this is going to be a thing. Now the other thing too, actually, how much damage did he do to me? What ammo do you use? Okay, he had some pretty decent ammo. But like the other thing too is that we could also technically speaking look for like the mag like the, the certain parts you need for the new crafting for Latexes, which requires lighthouse stuff. So there's also that route we could take. Hmm. Well now I gotta think of something since I died there. I also took away the cat uh, the, the the killer armor because I knew something like that may happen, so. Yeah. All right, I came here at night. Here's the, the uh, stuff I decided to go with. Bringing in the uh, the new armor, you know? I don't get to test this stuff out very often, why not? You're by the plane wreck, what the heck? I was not expecting this spawn. Uh, wait, would I technically have... Roblox... Would I have? Would I, I have that? Yeah, right? Factory gate, ZB, bridge, outskirts, northern, between you and... Okay, yeah, we do. We have the we have the Roblox. All right, well, we might as well just go over to the same spot we died before. Give it a try. We're doing it at nighttime. Hopefully it works out well. In this direction... I forget how many it was. Was it 10 or 20 vitamins? I'll have to look at that in a second. It's quite a bit, I can tell you that. I'll have to see. I wonder if there's a date tracker for like when they made certain quests cap required. Because I don't remember Crisis ever being like required. But that's what it is. We'll get it done. It was, I was a bit kind of curious, you know. I never really known for this information. I don't have a ton of time in this episode, so I don't think I'm gonna run across the map to check the other thing. Plus, I think it'd be pointless. So I'm just gonna check some stuff here. Well, we got Sturman on the map. Check around here. Does this have a light? Oh, it's a laser. Okay. We'll just loot everything now. Nothing on this. Come on, give me that random Lennox that's out of here. 
no scope work though. Do need those. Admins, piles of meds, Vaseline. Looks like everything on this side. I feel like this is going to be me making a decent amount of money for the next few episodes if I can survive. Because it's all about just looting. With all the items. Not just some, but everything. Like this. I'm basically grabbing the Marlboros though, because I need for the BS ammo. And I'm sure at some point I'll start using more BS ammo anyway. here. I guess I could fill up my rations with my cooler since I don't have anything right now. As long as I'm coming out with something, I feel like that's a positive. Except for all the soap. I don't really need all that soap. <laughs> a little bit excessive there. See the uh more multivitamins, nice. EWR, Tashanka. Oh, some meds, good. What about over here? And a mask. Got some toothpaste over here. You know, I don't know if Athletics can actually spawn here, but there could be a chance considering there's medical spots inside this tent, which I didn't know about. But it is good information for the future, that's for sure. Take this. I guess even like, yeah, treats would even be a place for us to check. We've gotten one from there before. That, of course, was the one that I sold, so <laughs> part of me is, like, crying inside that I accidentally sold something that I needed for the future, but what are you going to do, you know? <laughs> All right, this is good enough. We should be able to get one more run in. I'm just going to stick with woods for today, and then probably tomorrow we'll do shore shoreline or something. I'm also obviously looking out for the boss, but woods is so giant, I couldn't even tell you where the heck it's going to be. Or where he's going to be, I should say. Because we've seen, uh, well, at least I've seen on Customs. I've seen on, light, on Lighthouse, Interchange. But I haven't seen on Woods or Shoreline. And the map is so giant, though. Like, running into him, I feel like it's very difficult. Hmm. It would be kind of cool to find him, though. Now there is a chance for key cards, so rituals would probably be a very good thing to run into because if I, if I can get a blue key card, a green key card, that would just help us out in like the hunt for the stuff. Looking over here. Alright. Get going. Okay. Made out with some items required, so we will get those turned in, and we'll come right back. By the way, this is this episode has so many clips, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, we got kind of like an image to spawn. Uh, let's go this way. We're gonna head to the USEC camp and see if I can find one over here. Hopefully we can. Or we run to a player, one, two. Let's see the signs, I gotta stick more of the right here. Oh, this way. 
I almost got kind of turned around there for a minute for the night time. We should have the outpost, right? The Oscars, yeah. So we do have our way to get out. I don't know how many players are actually playing nighttime now. If it's a lot or if it's little, never know. Go. go, 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 go. I'm hoping if I can find that, plus maybe an O scope, that'd be cool. Of course, like I said, this all depends whether or not we can beat the player, but if, you know, that may be there. We did have a little bit of a late spawn, too, so. Kind of pushing it a little bit. And we are not going to blow up on any mines. It will not be that person. I know this map pretty well. Especially when I see power lines, I'm like, oh, I know exactly where I'm at. Nothing just yet. Don't know how well this armor actually holds up, by the way. Never used it before, so hopefully it does pretty good. I would think it does. It seems like it's pretty pretty decent armor. I had to shoot a lot of bullets at this guy to kill him, so. Should relatively do the job. Seems clear here. Oh, and I am buying SJ6s. So when we need to, we, we are popping. I haven't had to pop it just yet, obviously, because we were so close to the exits, but this one I may end up doing. Still nothing. I don't see any shadows. That's who I think it is. Oh, I think it's a boss. Let's see if he pushes me or not. I was gonna say, there's no player that would have seen me from that distance. I think it is the boss down there, because he shot loud and he shot quiet. I'm trying to spot him, I don't see him just yet. I think he's moving around. That was crazy. Uh, please don't ever do that again, Tarkov. That was nutty. Where is this guy? Did he like shoot me and then just run away? That would be hilarious if we did that. I don't see him underneath. I don't see him anywhere down there. It had to have been the boss. Yeah, because who else does that? Who just randomly like shoots your leg and then shoots at you a few times and runs away? Uh, no player does that. Plus, they'd make more sound. Anywho. Multivitamins. See anything on there? Nothing on that. Got some sprats. More drinks, which I don't need, obviously. 
Nothing on the ground, nothing on the ground. Uh, someone killed him. Because it just turned daytime. Why would you do that to me, Tarkov? What? Outskirts. Yeah, there it is. Now it's turned to nighttime. That was weird. Someone found him. Let's make sure I'm not missing something here. So outskirts is the only exit now. Well, dang. Where the heck is the ritual? How do I even know where to find the ritual at this point? Oh, it's way over there. There ain't no, there's no way. Nope. <laughs> That's across the map. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. We'll just loot up what we can for here and then get out. That's just that's a long distance to be traveling across the map. Like so wait, so did, did I get shot up by a random player then? Because I'm so confused how I, how that happened. Because I just randomly got shot and then nothing. I'm confused. Nothing in the tech box. Alright. Let's keep on moving. It's like by the village, or like even farther past the village, and I don't think we got time to get over there. It's what? Oh, that's so great. I'm sorry, I got turned off. So we got four minutes. No, there's no way I'm gonna get. I can't get there in four minutes. So hopefully someone kills this guy, because if not, we're gonna be in a heck of some trouble, because he will start teleporting. I'm gonna pop an SG6 actually. We're gonna run. Keep on moving. Well. That's kind of expected. I was I was expecting to not find a Ledex. I was like, maybe we find some of the O-scopes and multivitamins and piles and heads and whatnot. Which we did, which was cool. But I'm thinking, like I said, next episode, for sure we're gonna be heading over to Shoreline. Put our focus onto that and then see if we can slowly but surely get our objective done. Like Christ, that's gonna take forever. Especially the Ledex fun, but we got time. And we'll have fun doing while the while all while we're doing you know everything else in this game. You hate to leave it. You do. You hate to leave the quest, but someone else is gonna have to do the job to kill the priest, otherwise we're all dead. We're all dead. Or at least the people close to it. Because unless you got a team trying to kill that thing is like almost impossible. Forty six thousand health. Good luck. I'm running. But yeah. I don't think we're going to go back to the stash. I think we're going to probably just end it here. And then come back for the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen. As I'm running to the exit, which I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. If I die, I'll put the recording up. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Red Richard series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode. What you're excited about for the future. And ladies and gentlemen. In a matter of, I'd say, like a week or two. We'll be finally finished with all of these crafts and items that we need to find. And we will make it to the cap container. I'll see you in the next one.